I just got done reading this book, Charlie Wilson's War, about a congressman who started uh, funding the war in Afghanistan by funneling, well he didn't really start the war, the war was started by the Russians, but he started funneling money uh, from America matched uh, by the dollar from Saudi Arabia and uh, funneled it through Pakistan all the way into Afghanistan, which, uh, I mean, it was money to buy weapons and, and like the stingers and <clears throat> more of the the machine guns and stuff. They upgraded the the weapons. Uh, it's an amazing uh, lesson on how uh, just a congressman uh, from Texas uh, could ha have so much power. He he didn't have uh, seemingly a, a, a lot of responsibility as as a congressman. He's not exactly a senator. He he didn't have uh, to preside over the, the state as a whole as much as just his little district as a congressman, uh, which uh, I, th I think, I believe, I believe uh, encompassed about 2,000 people. No, he, he, uh, he just had to, he, uh, he had access to Washington uh, from his just small sector. But when you get access to Washington, you you can join committees, and, um, and those offer you more opportunity to do things in Washington. First, you're elected, and then you can join committees. And and then every what two years or so for Congress, you have to you get you, to to stay on the committees. You have to get reelected uh, from your district. The people have to support you. Which Charlie didn't seem to have a lot of trouble with because of some of the things he was doing. He was getting uh, support for uh, his elections with, like, because he was uh, supporting, um, like, Afghanistan and, and fighting the communists. Uh, some some countries, some uh, interest groups in America wanted, wanted to see that, that kind of um, support, so they poured in money from other states maybe like uh new york uh, the jews were were supporting charlie wilson quite a bit in his campaign efforts whenever re-election came up he didn't yeah yeah he, he uh he made himself available and the people loved him in his in his area but uh he, he was getting a large sum of money uh, from interest groups to, to help him uh, make those commercials and and flyers and all that and and then yeah he was able to stay on his his defense committees and and uh, the, the funding for the CIA with certain projects it sounded like he was on like four or five pretty important committees that had a lot of um, say over whether Afghanistan got money or not so he was making friends with all kinds of uh, higher um, elected officials and and doing deals he was making all kinds of trips over to Afghanistan and writing them off on on uh, the government's bill the government was paying for his uh, trips over to Afghanistan <clears throat> especially if it, the, the the government will will pay for his trips if he uh, visits an elected official over in another country or somebody of a higher authority you know, just going over to another country um, and, and relaxing on the beach um, will have to come out of your own pocket type of thing so he was he was uh, getting a lot of support I mean he was never he never became a rich man in fact they said he was a million dollars in debt um, with, with uh, things he was doing but he definitely he had uh, a half a billion dollars at, at uh, the height of the the war Afghanistan war in about 1987 that he he was able to wrangle up with all his wheelings and dealings like as a horse show and and uh, yeah he, he got a lot of help from a ex from a CIA agent um, who who uh, himself recruited uh, somebody who was really helpful um, um, and helped um, them, them see how to better wage a war rather than just giving them missiles to knock down that helicopter, the Hind. 
But yeah, overall it infuriates me, this, this book, to see them support Afghanistan uh, so much because Afghanistan has always been a, a terrible, terrible country. They're, they're cutting each other's hands off and poking each other's eyeballs out. They've been doing it since the, the book I, I read before and gave a review about called Caravans. They're talking about how they beat women in public if they don't have the shut the shutter a or whatever on um, it's still going do on in in Charlie Wilson's war I mean these Afghanis weren't taking any Soviet prisoners they were torturing them they were raping them they were uh, just doing horrific things uh, they didn't the, the Russians chose to, at, at, towards the end of the war that if they got caught they knew they'd better kill themselves so I mean this wasn't a great effort to, to fund 